Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sibelius and LandonAirPhotos.com. In this episode, I'm going to take all these little pieces and gizmos and things, and I'm going to put them all together and attach them to this controller, which happens to be for an Evo Lite or an Evo Nano drone. And onto that, you can mount a big, heavy touchpad like this Triple Tech 8 Pro. You can also mount other touchpads on there. I'll show you that along the way. When I received my mount from Skyfire Aerial, it was all kind of put together, and I spent a half an hour looking at it, and I had no clue how to attach this thing to my controller. So I gave it to my wife, and five minutes later, she had it all figured out and showed me how to do it. So now that I'm thoroughly shamed, I'm going to go take this opportunity to show you how to do put this thing all together. Now I've got it all disassembled. You can see all the little pieces here I got disassembled. <clears throat> um, and uh, we'll, we'll get this all put together. First thing I'll tell you is this piece, when it was shipped, it had a screw on the back of it screwing this hole. That's an extra screw. You don't need it. I had it hooked up and was flying with it, and it was working, but it's not needed. So you can, if, if there's a screw in this piece on the back here, you can take it out and leave it in the box because it, it doesn't do anything for you. So let's show you how to do this. We'll start with this piece here, this kind of Y-shaped piece, and it just fits over the shoulders of your controller, like this. Then we have this piece here, and again, I've got it all disassembled. Yours may be partially assembled. And that's going to fit right here. So it put, you can tell it's right because that little silver ring is kind of pointing down. That's a lanyard holder. and. Uh, so it fits right down there over the buttons on your controller. So put those in there, and I'm going to set this down and screw those in. Okay, I'm going to tighten these up. You want them to be pretty tight so your uh, mount doesn't go back and forth when you put the mount uh, put, put the t panel on the top of it. Okay, they've got knurled edges on on them, so it does help to grab those things, tighten them in, make sure that they're they're tightened in so uh, you don't have any problems. Next piece is this piece right here. Um, I showed this in the other video in the review video. But I'm going to take this part out, and this piece is what connects to this. You can do it a couple different ways. You can do it like this, where the opening goes to the top, or you can put it upside down like that. If you do it like this, the, the screen is going to be a little closer to your hands, a little closer to your face. I don't like it as much of that way because it's closer to the sticks and I like to have free access to the sticks at all time. So, but, but you can try it both ways and see which way works for you. I'm going to go ahead and mount it up like this. And there's a little silver screw. Um, if you have an older one of these, you may have a black uh, nylon screw. They're now sending out uh, these nice silver screws. Okay, that piece is on there. Once you get it all put together, you may want to go back and retighten it. So you can see how this thing looks at this point. Next step is to attach this. It fits through this hole here. Or it lines up with that hole, I should say. And then this screw goes right through there. And goes right into place. I'm going to leave it kind of loose for right now so I can easily adjust this thing. I can tighten it down after I get the uh, touchpad mounted on here. So that's it for the mount. The mount itself is all set up and ready to go. 
here is the, the uh, touchpad that I'm going to use. I bought an additional adapter to go with this mount. This is designed specifically for the Triple Tech 8 Pro. I love this thing uh, because it really holds the big, heavy touchpad on there and allows you to lock it on here. and It doesn't wiggle around or bounce around, so it makes it really easy and great to fly with. But when you get this piece, you will find on the back of your, on the back of the touchpad are four screws. Or I'm sorry, four screw holes right there. And this piece screws in to two of those four holes. In the kit that comes with the, the mount, you get this little beady beady screwdriver. You can see that. You also get uh, some the screws, and then there are some like washer things in here. This touchpad comes with a leather strap kind of thing, and if you use that leather strap and mount this on there, then you may need to use the washers. I don't use the strap, so I don't need the washers. They stay in the bag. Anyway, it's just a matter of screwing those two little screws into the holes here and, and attaching this and snugging them down real good, and it's good to go. Now all you have to do is attach your... your uh, your adapter to the mount, screw it in like that, and you're ready to fly. Now, if you're not using a triple tech, if let's say you're using an iPad or an iPad mini or some other touchpad that's not nearly as beastly as that thing, uh, there are the, the nice thing about this setup is that it's universal. You got a, a tripod screw here, standard tripod screw, and so it'll work with anything that uses standard tripod mounts. For example, here's a kind of a universal touchpad holder type thing, and on the bottom of it, there's a tripod hole. You can just screw that in here, and you can use that to hold your touchpad. If you have a cell phone that you want to use, you want to swap over to your cell phone for one reason or another, Again, it has the same screw on the bottom, and uh, that fits right on there, and so you can use a cell phone as well. You can jump from one viewing device to the other viewing device without having to change out the core of this whole system, which makes it really nice and convenient. When it comes time to take things apart, to, uh, to pack things away, you're done with your flying, I personally, because I have arthritis in my hands, I'm not going to disassemble this thing. This thing is is a permanent part of my, of my controller because I, I really like it. I love flying with that uh, touchpad. And uh, so I'm just going to keep this thing on there to make it easier to work with. So when I get done, I'm just going to tilt that thing down, put it in here and put it in my bag. That doesn't fit in the Evo bag or the Autel bag that comes with the Premier package. It won't fit. It's It's too big. So I, went, I found a different bag that I'm going to use, and that's nice because it also has room for this and some other things. Uh, it, it's a, a great choice instead of the Evo, the uh, Autel bag. However, let's say you're going to put the, you, you're going to take this thing apart when you get ready to pack up and go home. Um, what you can do is remove this piece. You can store it like this, or you can take this piece off. Now, I don't like having lots of pieces floating around, uh, so I wouldn't just take this thing off and leave it. But if you put it on here and screw it in, you notice I've got it backwards now. Now it, it the curved part fits over the top of that. I can put my uh, antenna piece down. It's up just a little bit, but it, it's not going to be a problem for going in a bag. And I'm a, I can store this this way. Then the only loose piece I've got is this and this that I have to account for. So again, if you want to take this thing apart, you don't have to take it all the way apart to put, to put it in your bag. You can break it down to this level and it should fit in most any bag very well. So that's it for setting up the Skyfire aerial mount on the latest generation Autel Evo controllers, and in particular with the Triple Tech monitor 
great piece of equipment. I've done a review on this thing where I talk about all the reasons why I really like this piece of equipment, and you'll find a link to it on screen right now. So I hope you'll check that out. Before you go, hit that subscribe button, little cartoon Jeff on screen. Uh, hit the thumbs up, and I always appreciate it when people leave comments. So I, I hope you'll take time to let me know if you found this helpful or ask any questions. I, I certainly love hearing from folks. Thanks for watching.